our dear learners and para teachers, our parents. Welcome to another episode of Dep at Dele Turuan. I am Ma'am Mary Ann El Guerrero, teacher 2 of Onerato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School, your teacher presenter for today. Our discussions will focus on approximating measures of quantities. Towards the end of this session, you will be able to approximate the measures of quantities, particularly length, weight or mass, volume or capacity, and temperature. Estimation is finding a number that is close to the right answer. It is not exact, but close enough to be used. For example, if a bus ride takes 57 minutes, you may say that it is a one-hour ride, as an estimate. Another example, if one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, then you can say that one kilogram is approximately equal to two pounds. Indeed, estimation or approximation is a skill for life. It's not exact but good enough or realistic enough to be used. For example, when buying a surprise gift for your loved ones, and you can tell the size, that is, approximation. Another example, when riding a jeep, and you think that the space available will be able to accommodate you or not. Estimation is a skill. Just like other skill, it can be developed. Let me give you some strategies which could help you develop your estimation skills. Number one, familiarize yourself which unit of measurement is shorter or longer, lighter or heavier, larger or smaller. Second, know the common measurement of an object. For example, determine which unit of measurement is longer centimeter or inch, yard or meter, mile or kilometer, foot or inch. Which unit of measurement is longer, centimeter or inch? The width of our thumb is about one inch, while the width of four other fingers is about 1.5 centimeters. So, inch is longer than a centimeter. Did you know that an inch was originated from the width of a thumb? Another example, which unit of measurement is longer, inch or foot? A ruler is 12 inches long, which is equivalent to one foot. So, the unit foot is longer than the unit inch. Did you know that a ruler is called as a foot rule? Another example, which unit of measurement is longer, meter or yard? In the Philippine market, we use a meter stick to measure one yard of fabric. Does it mean that one meter equals one yard? No. A meter is a little longer than a yard. So, meter is the longer unit. Now, Arrange the following units of measurements from shortest to longest. An inch is about the diameter of a 5 peso coin. A foot is as long as one, mid, as one ruler. A yard is the length of three rulers. A mile is 5,280 times of a ruler. Therefore, the shortest unit is an inch, next is foot, next is yard, then the longest unit is mile. A meter stick is one meter long. It has small vertical lines. The distance between each vertical lines that meet the horizontal line is one centimeter. A meter stick is 100 centimeter long. The picture shows that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So one meter is equal to 100 centimeter, which is also equal to 1000 millimeters. So, Millimeter is the shortest unit. Next is centimeter, then meter, and then the longest unit is kilometer, which is 1,000 times of a meter. 
Which of these is the realistic height of an adult person? 2 inches, 2 feet, 2 meters, or 2 kilometers? 2 inches is about the height of 2 5 peso coins. 2 feet is like the height of 2 rulers, so they are too short to be the height of an adult person. 2 meter is the height of 2 meter stick. It is realistic to be the height of an adult person. My height is about 1.5 meter long. 2 kilometers is too high. It is 2,000 times the height of 1 meter stick. So, the realistic height of an adult person is 2 meters. Let me give you another strategy on estimation and approximation. Compare the known measurement to approximate unknown measurements. For the length, the height of a basketball hoop is 10 feet. Most adults are between 1.5 and 1.8 meters tall. A normal doorway is about 2 meters high and 0.8 meters wide. The height of a single-story house is about 5 meters. The height of a two-story house is about 8 meters. Tall building is about 3.5 meters for every story. For the weight, the weight of a paracetamol tablet is 500 milligrams. A small car weighs about 1 ton. A liter of water weighs 1 kilogram. The weight of an adult person is about 100 pounds. A sack of rice is 50 kilogram. For capacity, 10 cc or 10 cubic centimeter syringe holds 10 millimeter of liquid medicine. The capacity of a can of drink is 330 ml. The capacity of a plastic water storage drum is 210 liters. A pitcher can hold 8 glasses of water. For temperature, water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The normal room temperature in the Philippines is 25 degrees Celsius. The normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. For examples, which of these is the realistic capacity of a glass of water? 2.5 liters, 25 liters, 25 milliliters, or 250 milliliters? Based on the commonly known measurement that the capacity of a can of drink is 330 milliliters, we can say that the realistic capacity of a glass of water is 250 milliliters, which is very close to 330 milliliters. Which of these is the realistic mass or weight of an adult person? 5 kilograms, 50 kilograms, 500 kilograms, or 5,000 kilograms? It is known that the weight of an adult person is about 100 pounds. And if you know that 1 kilogram is approximately equal to 2 pounds, then the realistic weight of an adult person in kilogram is 50. The temperature of a cold day in Cabanatuan City is 10 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Celsius, or 40 degrees Celsius. This is a news article from the internet and it tells us about the temperature in Cabanatuan City. From this news article, we can see that the temperature of a cold day in Cabanatuan City is 22 degrees Celsius. Estimation is a life skill. To be good at estimating, you need to develop your own strategies such as practice, be informed, experiment. Practice, for example, when you buy a drink, take note of its volume. Be informed, the numeric and letter keys on your computer's keyboard measures 1.5 centimeters, which is approximately the width of our four fingers. Thumb not included. Read news article and take note of the measurements. Experiment. Place a 500 milligram on your left hand, while on your right hand, put 500 grams of sugar. Let us check your understanding. Try to answer the following. Choose the most realistic measurement for each of the following. Number 1. Width of a street. A. 2.5 inches, B, 2.5 feet, C, 2.5 yard, D, 2.5 mile. Correct, 2.5 yard. 
Number two, the body temperature of a person who will not be allowed to enter in any establishment amidst COVID-19 pandemic. A. 35 degrees Celsius B. 36 degrees Celsius C. 37 degrees Celsius D. 39 degrees Celsius The answer is letter D. 39 degrees Celsius Number 3. The capacity of an Olympic-sized swimming pool A. 50 gallons B. 500 gallons C. 5,000 gallons or D. 500,000 gallons Correct. It is letter D, 500,000 gallons. And number four, the weight of a mobile phone. A, 138 milligrams. B, 138 grams. C, 138 kilograms. Or D, 138 pounds. Correct. B, 138 grams. I hope you've learned something on our discussions. This is Ma'am Mary Ann Guerrero saying that estimation is a skill for life. Goodbye everyone. See you on the next episode of Tele Toluan.